hard act to follow. We should just have the Frank and Peter and Sue show, I think, because they're fantastic. Uh, it's uh, really fantastic uh, to be able to induct our next honoree in our Transformers Hall of Fame. Somebody I've known for more than 15 years, and when I met him, I knew that we had found the perfect partner to help bring something that I loved throughout my life and bring it to life in the big screen. And so I'm so pleased to be able to induct uh, Lorenzo de Bonaventura into the Transformers Hall of Fame, but he's not gonna come up quite yet because I am just one among a whole family of Hasbro people and others who want to also say something to Lorenzo uh, on his induction into the Hall of Fame. So can we run the film? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. Look at this. There we go. It's pretty styling. The guys made that. I love that. Yeah. I need Brian Chapman here so he, I, can never, I can never put them together and take them apart. I can take them apart. I can't put them back together. <laughs> Brian, you back there? Yeah. Right, you're, you're, you yeah, okay, thank you. Later this. on, okay, buddy? <laughs> Oh, that's great. Thank you. Thank great. you. Um, <clears throat> well, what can I say? One of the greatest things in my life that's happened has been Transformers, you know. Um, I've gotten to know one of the, uh, maybe the best company in America in Hasbro, but no, uh, I, I can't tell you, uh, I can't tell you how many people at that company have become my friends and my colleagues and we fight like family sometimes and sometimes we get along very simply, but What's so great, it really is genuinely, I've worked at a lot of companies and I've yet to work at a company like Hasbro. And uh, I consider myself really privileged for having had that experience. Uh, you know, the fans of Transformers have kept me going. One of the hardest things about Hollywood is the amount of rejection you have to sustain. You know, I think every job has a certain amount of it, but I think uh, Hollywood is, is one of the, what's brutal about it is how much rejection you have to take. And, and so often a fan would lift me up. And it's crazy. I took a Christmas vacation in Malaysia to try to get away from Hollywood and get away from everybody. I'm in the middle of the jungle and I'm staying at this eco lodge, which is loosely named the eco lodge. And uh, the gardener, figured out that I was the producer of Transformers. <laughs> and immediately wanted my signature and wanted my, you know, do I have a, a baseball cap to give them? And, you know, I, it's extraordinary the level of, of commitment that the Transformers fans have. And I, I think maybe the best story I can share with you that tells you both the level of insanity that I have, I have experienced with our collective community, and also the incredibly funny, life-affirming thing is, is uh, it's a very long story, but I'm gonna cut it short. I had a momentary heart problem. I was in London alone. I was being brought into an operating room. I was having very dark thoughts, you know? It's like, my life is over, oh my God, my heart. And I go in, and the nurse uh, shaves my uh, arm, and they're gonna, they're gonna do um, angiogram put a thing into my heart. She says, this is uh, Charlie, your technician. Charlie's 39, 40 years old, professional. I say, hey, Charlie, how you doing? He's great. Well, he starts to explain to me the process, and then he stops and he says, I just have a question for you. And I say, what? He goes, are you the producer of Transformers? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. And he goes, oh my God, I'm the biggest fan of Transformers. I can't tell you how big a fan I am. I mean, I, every day I'd go home from school, and my brother and I, we would act out Transformers, and we would do this, and we would do that, and I was thinking to myself, what is going on? I'm on an operating table, I'm really, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, this is really totally insane. And then he suddenly stopped me and goes, well, maybe this isn't the best time to talk about this. <laughs> and I looked at Charlie and I thought, you know what, Charlie, I haven't thought about dying for the last two minutes, keep going. <laughs> and then, yeah. so, so Charlie then proceeded to tell me that not only is he a big fan who owns 500 Transformers, but his brother, who is such a much bigger fan of Transformers, that he owns a thousand. I'm thinking, okay, this is one of our fantastic family of nuts. 
<laughs> and he said, you know, I'm such a big fan that I own Optimus, Megatron, and Bumblebee boxers. I'm thinking, okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. And he goes, oh my God. And he takes his belt off, <laughs> and he pulls his pants down, and I swear to God, he has Bumblebee boxers on. Yeah, there you go. That kind of sums up the whole experience for me. Uh, I truly, I love that passion and, and in a business that's hard to keep going sometimes and you can feed on that and you can enjoy that and you can appreciate the fact that you are bringing something to the screen that means that much to people and it gives a lot more meaning to your life and your career and it, it really has been my unbelievable blessing to have Transformers in my life. I didn't grow up with as a child. And so it's a really interesting thing that it turned out to be, in a way, my return to being a child because I get to blow up things, I get to play with cars, I get to imagine all sorts of crazy stuff, but I mostly get to enjoy your passion for this thing. And that really feeds me and it's one, been one of my great pleasures in life. You know, I so really great. appreciate it. You know, it's so great for me, the, the joy of joys is the fact that you know, I've always known that this should be shared by generations, and certainly we spend a lot of time on the comics and, and on the animated series, and and I'm making great toys and games and things for Transformers. But you know, you have helped all of us to make sure that that future generation who also looks to the movies to enjoy storytelling gets to enjoy Transformers through that storytelling, and so that's what I'm so appreciative to. And I know well, everybody. It's one of my great well. pleasures, and I have to say, one of the the penultimate things that's happened to me in this is that Mark Wahlberg and I have done eight movies together. And that's an extraordinary track record. That's not something we often get to do in Hollywood. And not only has he become my friend, and uh, I think I started out a little bit as a mentor to him, but he's now my mentor because he's a much better businessman than I am. Uh, we've really become close and to share this experience with him has made this all the more special for me. So it's really been unbelievable. It's sort of the family has grown, and I appreciate all you, and I think of you all as family. Great. Thank you. Congratulations. Awesome. All right. Thank you, guys. I'm going to turn things back to Aaron. Is that what I'm doing? Yep. Great. Yep. We're going to both walk off. <laughs> thank you, guys, very much. We also say thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your evening and your dinner, and uh, we're so appreciative. Have a great night.